people. Hi guys. Today it's Maylit Chin and Charlotte's cooking. All our fans, this is another of our videos. Today we're making banana bread and we're going to be making it by the recipe. Where did Nanny buy this banana bread from, Charlotte? Aldi. Now, we got rid of Sister Layla today. She's at preschool and we're having a yeah. Nanny Charlotte baking day. Yeah. So what we're doing is banana bread. Now, this stuff's $1.79 from Aldi, so it's brilliant. I mean, it's even cheap if you make it from very start, but this is really easy and a really, uh, it's a favourite of all the family. So what's happened today is I've got these bananas. Now, see how they're quite brown and pretty ripe, Charlotte? Yep. So we've got, it takes two in the recipe, but sometimes I have three left over, so I use those. So what we're going to do is um, get these bananas, first of all, and we just peel them. Now what I've done is um, turned my fan-forced oven on according to the directions to 160. And we've got a big bowl here. And we're just going to put the bananas into this bowl. And we're going to smash them up with this spoon. Actually, it's probably easier to use a fork, Charlotte. So you have this fork and then he'll have this fork. Move up over here. And we're just going to get them and squish them up against the side of the bowl. Because yeah. we want to mash them up all really mushy, mushy, mushy. Mm. It's, awesome, isn't it? it's almost a bit like mashed potato, but it's mashed banana. So yeah, this is a real favourite with the family. So if you're ever buying bananas and you find that you're not eating them in time before they ripen, this is a great way to use them rather than throwing them out. You just either make muffins or banana bread. Yeah. And you can make your own bread out of bananas. Yeah, and honestly, it's a really cheap way of making a banana loaf because you pay five or six bucks a slice at a cafe for this stuff. And I mean, we're only paying $1.79 and then adding the bananas. And then to that, Charlotte's going to add the banana bread mix. So we're going to add that to the mix while Nanny cleans the fork. Hold in, darling. Okay. And then what you'll want to do is that you'll want to mix Two eggs. It. You want to put your two eggs in first? Yep. We're going to crack the eggs into the banana mix there. Try not to get any shell in it. Clean as we go. And another egg, Charlotte? Yep. So we always keep the good old chucks handy. Yep. And you just crack up your eggs. Watch what you're doing. <laughs> one by one. Oh, look at that. Muscle power. Thank you. Looking good. Wipe our hands. And then we get our spoon. And what I'm going to do while Charlotte's stirring that is get two and a half tablespoons of margarine and we need to melt that so I'm just going to put it in the microwave for 20 seconds should be enough and then we're going to add that to our mixture mm -hmm. and you want to keep on mixing till it is good enough Ugh. it's all so hard Ugh. all stirred in Baba so if we go from the sides and work our way in if we get the sides Get the mm. sides and work our mm. way in. Mm. Mm. Nice, tasting good already. Yep. And we just use a wooden spoon to do this, so there's no electric yep. mixes or anything like that. And then in a second, we're going to add that margarine. And so I'm going to lick the spoon. In. She's going to lick the spoon. She loves licking the spoon. So we're going to add the margarine to it, Charlotte. Not a good idea to lick the spoon when someone else is going to be eating the cake. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we're going to add two and a half tablespoon of melted margarine to that. Good girl. Mix that in. And we're also going to add half a cup of milk. So we're just following the directions on the packet here. Half a cup of milk goes in there as well. It's so hard. Oh, it's so hard. This is what grows your muscles. Then you can add the milk, Charlotte. In the meantime, our oven's heating up. So half a cup of milk there. And then you'll want to pour your milk in after you have a half a cup of milk and okay. you've mixed all your mixture together. And then you'll just want to keep on mixing. And we're going to 
grease our loaf tray here. Nice and, and you greasy. want to keep on mixing. Mix and mix till it's all mixed in. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And as you see here, it's a little bit wet and we'll fix that by keep on mixing. Good job, Charlotte. Mm. Mm. Yeah, no. Look at you looking at yourself. Did you pitch some mixture? <laughs> yeah. Bloody animal! Okay. Let me check this out. All right. So I think that's pretty right there. All righty. So that's mm. looking pretty good. So that's all we do. That's all it takes is a couple of minutes. Stir with a spoon. Now we're going to get our, bowl, our cake tin. Get our cake tin. And before Charlotte eats all the bloody cake mix, because <laughs> she loves food, okay? we love our food, don't we? Yeah. We love it too much. Yum, 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 yum. Now, I'm going to leave that bowl there because we're actually making two mixes today. So that's all you do. So, and then you get to lick the spoon. <laughs> this is how we lick a spoon. Shall we lick a spoon? While she licks the spoon, I'm going to shove this in the oven for 55 minutes. And voila, there's your banana bread. There we go, lick away Charlotte, lick away. <laughs> Alrighty, so until next time, this is Nanny Lucia and Charlotte saying ciao. Happy licking. <laughs> God's sake. <laughs> <laughs>